welcome back to Lego by the Book. Uh, first, a correction in my previous video for set 75886. I said that I believed it was sent to me by Halt Striker. Apparently this was incorrect. It was in fact sent to me by a David James. Uh, my apologies for getting it wrong and my thanks for sending me the set. Today's set, set 40409, was sent to me by Halt Striker. And it's also a cool looking car. So, let's build it. This is apparently just called Hot Rod. Lovely. Right, first we shall build our minis. Mm, so this set comes with two minis. We have a female mechanic in overalls and a baseball cap with a ponytail and tools. And then we have our driver in dirty jeans and a Leatherman jacket. Leatherman jacket? Not sure why. Now. There isn't anything about either character that marks them, uh, their torsos, as being that particular um, gender. So you could, if you felt like it, put her in the Letterman jacket. The baseball cap matches that just as well. Um, he would look a little weird with sunglasses, and but you could. I really, really appreciate that LEGO has been going out of their way to add more female characters. There was a, a serious shortage of female characters in my youth. I think I had one or two <laughs> um, back in the 80s and early 90s. Uh, they were very few and far between uh, and they've gotten a lot better at that at just adding them here and there and I think that's pretty groovy of them. All right, let's build this set. Now, according to you guys, the audio was much better, so I'm glad that the microphone is working out. I do, perhaps, apparently need to work on the audio levels. It sounds correct on my on my computer when I listen to it, but um, I really should probably get headphones to listen to while I'm doing the audio to get an idea of what it sounds to people who are using it in headphones, and that might give me a better, more neutral... hearing of the audio, but apparently it is in fact clearer, so I'm glad the mic, I finally got a mic that appears to be working out. And there it is. Well, quite as smooth as the other one did. I wonder if that's the wheels. Feels more like the axle. The axles are a little more loose. Anyway, usual plethora of spare parts. No surprises there. Yeah, this is a neat little set. I like how they did the brick-built um, convertible look. So this is clearly meant to be the convertible with the top down and I like that. I did go ahead and put the stickers on this one because there weren't as many and uh, I like how it looks. So yeah, neat little set. Is a schnazzy looking build. They, they, they do a lot with the uh, the parts that have you know a, a plate and then another plate on the side which allows you to then connect things to the side rather than having to go a full bricks width they're able to be a lot more creative and add a lot more curves and stuff I really like how this one came out so there you have it set 40409 hot rod very cool I will end up having to have an entire 
shelf somewhere just of all the the various nifty cars people have sent me because I've been sent at least four or at least three that I can think of but probably more than that I'm just not remembering them all so yeah very cool my thanks to Holt and again my apologies to David James for not giving proper credit last time you are all amazing and you send me happiness and it is awesome thank you for watching